going through my YouTube channel, I realized that I had not produced an introductory video for what it is that I do. What is it that I do? I teach correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar. And before anybody makes the accusation that I don't give credit where credit is due, I'd love to give all the credit in the world to the people who developed this grammar, colon David hyphen Wynn colon Miller and colon Russell hyphen J colon Gould. Now they were corporate because two is certification of fact. Now that colon David has passed, the copyright copy claims have moved on to full colon Russell hyphen J colon Gould. And I am a humble tenant of the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar with knowledge as my authority. Meaning I have closure on the grammar and I'm 100% confident in performing with it in any venue, any second, of any minute, of any hour, of any day. So having said that, what is correct sentence structure communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Let's find out. Usually the first question I will ask my students when I do confidential workshops and consultations is, if a stranger came up to you on the street and asked you, hey, what is quantum grammar? What would your response be? What closure would you give them in a very brief, short sentence? Now, 99.9% .9 of the people I ask this cannot give a clear, concise answer, which tells me that many people out there don't have closure as to what quantum grammar is. Now, if we take the words quantum and grammar and we just look them up in a, in a dictionary or on Google, well, we find out what grammar means. We know what that means. Quantum is the important part. What is a quantum? It is a fixed quantity of something, a finite quantity. That's why in our quantum grammar dictionaries, we don't use the word definition we use the word finite hyphen mean because a definition is no finite contract. That's why you have multiple, multiple entries for definitions for words, whereas in quantum grammar, we have one word, one meaning, finite mean. So that is what quantum grammar is. If someone came up to me on the street and just asked me and I had to give a very short, brief answer to that, I would say, it's a grammar of closure because everything is accounted for. All the terms and conditions are accounted for. That's the beauty of the technology. There are specific sequences and how a correct sentence structure is created. The closure on what correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar is, is included in the title. The people, the men who developed it included the components in the title. So let's take it bit by bit. Correct sentence structure communication. That is the manner, the method, the mathematically certified method in which we create our sentences. One verb, one thought per sentence with a specific sequencing of parts of speech, positionals, lodials, facts, conjunctions, and verbs. Just for an example, it could be for the cause of the concern is with the possessive of the concern with the possessive by the authority, period. That's the way we convey our communications. The next part, in order of the way it's listed in the title, parse, and parse is simply the particles of words. One way you could do it is to 
take a word and look up each syllable of that word and find the finite mean, get the nativity closure on the each syllable of the word and then you will come to a, a certification on what that word means in its earliest nativity meaning. So the next component, we have correct sentence structure communication, parse, syntax. Now the syntax is just how words work together in a scenario. And in correct sentence structure communication, parse, syntax, grammar, we bank number values onto the words and there are nine conditions of state with the syntax key of correct sentence structure. We have the adverb, we have the verb, we have the adjective, we have the pronoun, we have the positional, we have the lodial, we have the fact, we have the past tense, we have the future tense, and we have the conjunction, which is zero. So those things are the syntax values we bank on our words in our conveyances or for example, if there's a trespass being committed against us, we would then bank them on someone else's uh, vessel. Because they have not provided closure, we would give the we would we would do the correct thing and give them the closure as an educational claim. So what's the last word? Grammar. Everything is the grammar, it's a grammar technology. So that is the closure, a basic overview of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar. I hope this helped. If you have any grammar questions, feel free to reach out to me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and I'll do the best I can uh, to give you closure on those grammar questions or to set up a consultation if you're interested in applying for my confidential workshops. Thank you.